right, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter, and today we're gonna to be talking about a shutter switch to fire your 5D Mark I, Mark II, or Mark III. What we are using is a RC Flysoft switch that we solder on to one of the N3 cables. So this is the RC Flysoft switch. It comes with two wires coming out of it. This goes into your receiver, that end. And this is the cable that will be plugging into your 5D, this is, they call this an N3. So the way I soldered this together is first, this actually comes with a little um, eighth inch, um, I think it's a four pole, but I just crimped that off. Um, what you're gonna find is a white wire, a yellow wire, and a red wire. For soldering this together, I just um, take a little bit of insulation off the red and the yellow wire, twist that together, solder that directly to this red wire going to the RC Flysoft, and then also strip a little wire off the white, strip off a little on the blue. That'll be soldered to the blue wire also going to the RC Flysoft. And then this is the final product. Little heat shrink just to get it nice and tidy. So how this is all gonna fit together. Right now I am using a Grotner GR24 receiver. I'm gonna be using um, channel nine. So we'll plug this into channel nine. To power this, I'm just gonna be using a 4.8 volt. This is just a receiver pack. So first we'll turn on our transmitter and plug in the receiver. This is all bound, this looks good. So now what we want to do is program the RC Flysoft for single and continuous shooting of the 5D Mark II. So once again, the MX-20, I'm using this switch. This is a spring-loaded toggle switch. And if we go into our servo display, there's channel nine. As we hit the switch, it's at minus 100 off, plus 100 to trigger the servo or trigger the um, switch and back to minus 100. So anyway, to program this, we'll, this is actually unplugged. We will have to hold down this red button, plug it in. This is gonna beep some, a um, couple red dots. When it hits the green blinks, turn it on, that'll go solid. When it goes back to solid red, hit the red button again, and we're good to go. So we'll just power cycle that. And as you can see, with the green light, when I fire the shutter, it goes to solid green. Just to double check that, we'll plug the N3 into, this is a 5D Mark II. Turn that on. And now we're firing. So um, one of the advantages of the hard wiring into the N3, um, with the 5D Mark II, Mark I, and Mark III, you have to put this in the timer mode to get it to work with the IR sensor. It's a little bit clunky. Um, I've never been a big fan of IR. I'm always a big fan if you can actually hardwire it into the camera. Um, I've been using these setups for, gosh, almost 12, 13 years, and yeah, it's been working, it's been working slick. Um, so once again, um, you'll be needing the cable for the N3. Also, if you're using the, uh, the Canon Rebels, it's a, it's a different plug. Just make sure you have the right plug for the right camera that you're using. And also, this is the RC Flysop switch that you can find in the Quadrocopter store online. All right, so this is Jeff at Quadrocopter, and we'll be seeing you next time.